would be a big phone like this. Hello? <laughs> it's only a matter of time. <laughs> We're getting there. We're slowly, I'm slowly like sure getting there. there. Oh, my computer. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let me look at my phone here. Yeah, my other phone. And that's your tablet now, and that's your phone. Here's <laughs> <laughs> my tablet. Oh. Here's my tablet. Is that silly? Hey Spencer, where are we? Uh, this is Golden Garden, a Vietnamese restaurant in Chinatown at Fender and Main Street in Vancouver. And uh, I suggested this place because uh, I live nearby and it's, uh, it's pretty nice inside, pretty swanky. You get the yeah. opera music Our going. Our food is pretty know. good. Uh, there's, there's uh, what do we got? We got lighting, um, there's a tablecloth. <laughs> And uh, all kinds of other features. There are, so, table, uh, there are tablecloths. Good right. food. We finished our meal. Everybody had a good, good meal, I think. Yeah. So you are actually the only person to suggest a place on Doc Compo that's actually that's showed up at Doc Compo. Well, I suggested East is East a few weeks back, and never. Came and you never came to that. Yeah. So uh, it, I okay. think it's almost like nobody should really take the suggestions because it almost is like sabotage. You know, if somebody doesn't really like the group, they can suggest some place that, oh yeah, yeah, it's really, really good. Oh, like, like, and then like they just don't show up and everybody gets food poisoning. <laughs> 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 you want to take Doc Compo down, that's how you do it. Yeah. So, the next time somebody wants to suggest Denny's or... or actually, no, Denny's is pretty good. Yeah, I'm not gonna, <laughs> <laughs> to Denny's! <laughs> yeah, to Denny's! <laughs> no, no. Have you seen not. Miami Vice? No. <laughs> because I put that on the other day, I don't know why, it was easy okay. to navigate through on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what, what, is the, what is the worst exactly. movie that you've ever seen? Well, that's that could be a long list. I happen to have participated in creating some of them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say it was on the same channel that showcased Sharktopus. <laughs> anyway, Sharktopus. No, I, I had the misfortune of just... Anaconda? It's something like that, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I had the misfortune of actually putting on a movie on Netflix. That just in the background, you know, I was doing some work. Miami Vice, which is a fairly big budget movie. Yeah, you, know, you got like Jamie Foxx and Colin Farrell, two pretty solid actors, you know. Uh, in their own right. Jamie Foxx, yeah, Academy Jamie Award Fox winner. Is, is better than Colin Farrell, I think, but yeah. 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 Michael but Mann, you know, the, the original Miami Vice, didn't he? Yeah. And, you know, I thought, oh, this would be cool. It'll be like, you know, lots of speedboats and Ferraris and things. Nope. It was no. awful. Like, the camera work was better than what you're seeing from Ed right now. It was so <laughs> shaky. Like, just awful and plot was terrible and nobody could act and it wasn't very exciting and you just felt like Colin Farrell wanted to shoot himself the whole time and he probably should have <laughs> but just not a very good movie at all. I'm sure there's worse movies out there. I'm sure somebody else has got a terrible movie. Is there American Warships. Oh. American Warships is based on Battleship starring Liam Neeson. And it's uh, and then this one it starts Mario Van Peebles. Oh, that's always a good. Movie. Yeah, good yeah. yeah. Mario Van Peebles is always a yeah. good movie. He was the captain, <laughs> was the uh, protagonist, and it was. It still had aliens and everything. Same, same sort of uh, so, type of character. Who so. else has seen Prometheus here? Was that the, the no, anybody else? I haven't no. seen it. I love the aliens movies. I, I recommend that you never, ever, 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 is it ever like, watch okay. it. But, but it's, it's it's a prequel that's not a prequel, right? It, 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 it is it, not it, a prequel. It well. Like it is, and it it's, isn't, is right? in, it's in the same universe, I guess. What? How does that even work? It's a prequel. Cool. It's in the same universe. It's not official. Yeah. It's not an official prequel, I don't think. Okay, no, let me ask this question. There's one movie that was so bad for so many reasons that I will never see again. Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of yes, the Yes, right? you're, yeah. you're yeah. absolutely right. I saw it once, I will never see it again. That was ever. I, I, I swear on everything. Is Absolutely it that correct. bad? It is that bad. Really? I, Did it ruin all previous yes. Alien movies for you, like Indiana Jones ruined all previous movies? I would never, ever want to see Prometheus ever again. Like, I would not want to even... Like, I wouldn't even want to look at the cover of the DVD. You wouldn't want to remember <laughs> Alien as Alien Resurrection. That's yeah. The last one. It, it, it's, 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 Aliens, the second Alien movie, is clearly the best. Yeah. It's okay. almost as bad. It's 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 almost as bad as Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, because I don't love Alien like I love Indiana Jones, you know? Yeah. Like, Indiana Jones is part of every every kid from the 80s childhood, I think, so... Yeah. Uh, and it, it's it's one of those really special sort of, sort of franchises. But... 
Camu, what, what the hell were you thinking, bro? I know exactly aliens, how I went down. <laughs> aliens, really? That's why uh, Steven Spielberg said, you know what, that's how that George. was freaking terrible. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure George Lucas said, oh, you know, uh, Steven, we've got this, uh, <laughs> this new technology down at ILM where we can simulate uh, animal fur really well. I think we should put a gopher in this. <laughs> uh, George, I don't think we need to do that. Oh, it's my franchise, Steven. We should put it in. And then you so, got the stupid gopher. That's how that happened. Worst movie. The gadget of the week. Hold on to it again. That would be just go for it. The that's ga- a gesture. That's a gesture. <laughs> that's just one of the gestures that you're gonna have to learn when you use Windows 8. So the gadget of the week is from the Samsung AT series, ATIV. So that's all of their Windows Phone and Windows 8 tablet-y kind of products. This is a Smart PC Pro. Has a Core i5 processor, I think four gigs of RAM and a 64 gig SSD, maybe 128, I'm not really sure. But I'll yeah, but it, it, it runs full blown uh, Windows 8, so you can get oops, like get to the desktop. So you know it's real Windows 8, so you can run all your normal kind of Windows programs and apps and stuff. But it has you know the start screen that's become the Windows 8 thing. So you have these gestures, and you pull in the side to bring out the charms. And there's no internet in here, but if I open up Internet Explorer, pull up the bottom to bring up the tabs and stuff like that, and the address bar and whatnot. Uh, and it's, the whole point is that it's supposed to be a convertible tablet. So right now it's in laptop form, so it has the trackpad and the full keyboard and everything. One thing that bugs me is that this doesn't bend back far enough. So if you're typing on it and you have it in your lap, it is kind of awkward to use. Because if you have it in your lap, you want the screen to be a little bit bent further back so you're actually looking at this display at the right angle. And uh, it's a 69 display, like how you would expect from most ultrabooks and laptops and that kind of thing. And it's a convertible, so if you pop this button here, it comes out like that. And and it serves as a tablet. Now, is it like the surface and you just have to keep doing that? Like yeah, but no one was around with me to do that. <laughs> and it doesn't really dock as easily as you think it does. Well, it do- actually, this dock's not too bad because it has, if you look at the keyboard dock, there's like a little bit of a guide rail kind of ledge here. Uh-huh. So it is a little bit easier to you know, make sure you have it in the right angle and that kind of thing to get it to fit. So it's kind of awkward to use a tablet that's widescreen especially like in landscape it's not so bad because you're going to use both hands really in portrait is really strange because I, I was playing too narrow i was playing um pinball where's pinball i was playing pin, pinball in well portrait and then you all you, you always need to play pinball in portrait not in yeah. landscape so you come on the board but what bothered me is that because it's running a Core i5 processor and it is a real Windows machine, it needs fans, it needs cooling. And the fan output, the vent is right there. So if you're playing pin- pinball like this, where's my hand right now? Okay, I see. So that got annoying pretty quickly. You, well, you can play this way, but then you don't want to play pinball this way. Oh, this way? Yeah. No, but then like now the buttons are in the way. Like. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, wah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, First world tablet problem. Like, and yeah. it's a little bit on the pricey side. It's about twelve hundred dollars, including what? the keyboard dock. If wow. you, That's if, it's, 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 it's kind of expensive. So you know, there's a micro SD slot, there's USB ports. Like it is just as powerful as what you would get with a thousand dollar ultrabook, more or less. I haven't really benchmarked in, in, in anything yet, but you know, it, it does the job that it needs to do. So I haven't really pushed it in doing Photoshop or video editing or anything. So I'm not really sure how, how far it goes with that. What I did find, and I don't know why it really happens, but sometimes if I'm inside Internet Explorer or Firefox or whatever and I'm typing, the keyboard won't keep up. It'll make like a ding ding kind of noise. And I'm not sure if that's just because my palm might be touching the, the, the t- touchpad, but I don't think that was it. Or is it just like a weird connection that they use with the docking system? Would it work better with a regular USB keyboard? I'm not really sure. So that's so something that I'll have to fiddle with over the next little while. If you want to save some money, you can effectively get almost the same thing. The materials are a little bit different and the design's a little bit different. But Samsung also has one that runs on uh, an Atom processor instead. So it'll be more like netbook kind of power. And yeah, that's like $650? Six, six uh, it, it runs the Pro Windows 8 uh, non-pro well, I mean, version of the OS. So yeah, that's the Samsung AT Smart PC Pro, and I'll be running some benchmarks and all that kind of good stuff, and posting the review up on megatechnews.com soon. There you go. There you go. Huh. You have to use it off the side. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Multi-mod, multi-screen. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a stereo. 
This is the way that all electronics should do. They, they should just combine yeah. to form Voltron. Why are you <laughs> it looks like a This is the. This is way better this than. Is the yeah. We should have seen this. It's this is the future. I think this isn't a CES. This is, this is when you get the different co companies to collaborate with one another. Yeah. So this is an Apple, so you have Samsung, an Apple Samsung, Samsung Canon. Apple Samsung Canon, yeah. Got it. it uh, <laughs> the three of us. And you have the convenience of the carrying strap. Genius. So there you go. Uh -huh. This is the first, uh, I think this is the first tablet ever with dual screens and a 22 megapixel <laughs> webcam. Yeah. <laughs> So that interchangeable that lens webcam. <laughs> yeah. With manual zoom. With so, manual zoom. So we'll be launching a little bit later this year at about $3,500. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look for that later on this year. <laughs> we'll be giving one away, I'm sure. <laughs> so stay tuned to dot .com for that. Yeah. Right, so this week we were uh, we were informed that Peter Dinklage will be joining the cast of the next X-Men, I think? Yeah. Is it X-Men first... Plus two future past, future the, the days, whatever days of future past. So it's that whole thing with the the future and the past with uh, the assassination of Senator Kelly that okay. brings on the Sentinel Four program and the mutant and in, in internment camps and all that. And uh, Peter Dinklage, who you probably know as Tyrion Lannister from Game of Thrones. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you probably know him as uh, Tyrion Lannister you know from, from, from uh, Game of Thrones. Ga yeah. Game of Thrones. So he or the awesome uh, the an elf. call me an elf again from yeah. Elf. Yeah, yeah. So so he it's been confirmed that he has been cast for the next X Men movie. It has not been confirmed what role he's gonna play. Originally, oh, Colossus obviously must obviously, obviously, obviously Colossus obviously. because you know. There, there's no way that he would not play either Colossus or Cyclops. Or Cyclops. Or, like Big Mac. <laughs> or maybe Jean Grey. One of the <laughs> Rogue. <laughs> so, Again. When, when it was first announced that Peter Dinklage was cast, a lot of people thought that he was going to play Puck from Alpha Flight. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, yeah. and then told her to go now we're hearing that he's going to play Trapped, the guy that starts the island. Um, he's going to be the main person. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see how that was was Trask in, uh, in the animated series? Yes. Was he? Yeah, I kind of remember. Yeah. I think I remember who you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> but I've, I've, I've been apparently schooled on Facebook that... Yeah, I've, Russ has been telling us. Yeah, he's, Russ has been telling us about uh, all kinds of comic book stuff. We're not really comic book guys. No. We, me and Michael just grew up on the old on, school. On the Fox cartoon. On the comic, yeah. So, I mean, no, no, on the cartoon. On the yeah, cartoon. Right, yeah. like, to me, the Fox cartoon is canon. Yeah. So, so I'm like, oh, where's, totally. so where's, so where's Cable and Bishop? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had no idea what's going on. Like, when I watched First Class, I was like, where is there? Yeah. So, you know, you, if, 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 they, if they decide to add Cable and, Bit, and uh, Bishop, I've already decided that I want Cable to be played by Mickey Ward. Not bad. And I He's want uh, Bishop to be played by uh, Danny Trejo. But you won't be able to understand. It doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. He'll just be mumbling the entire time. He'll just be mumbling and angry, and that's okay. <laughs> Not bad. Okay, so, um, yeah, so Danny Trejo and uh, Mickey Rourke, let Michael know. <laughs> <laughs> he will cast you in the movie. Because yeah. apparently I'm running the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm producing. Plastic protective film. I don't believe what Michael's doing right now. <laughs> Well, please don't be one of those people. <laughs> 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 please don't be one of those people. Look, I'm folks, making a video. <laughs> if you are if you are the owner of a tablet, tablets are not for taking pictures. Like maybe once in a while is fine, but if you bring it to a concert, watch the concert through your eyes and not the tablet. <laughs> Can you me go to a concert? Yeah, I'm getting a no, video. I saw a whole bunch of pictures. I saw a whole but, bunch of pictures. But where were they hiding in their skinny jeans? I saw so many You're pictures. Of eyes. Where is it? World biggest cargo pants. <laughs> Stand up and do it. We fight everybody wants to. Okay, say bye bye. Close enough. <laughs> 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 